Welcome to our second day of virtual yoga. I hope everyone's feeling good and staying positive, staying well, of course. We're going to begin our practice in a comfortable standing position. If you have a yoga mat, come on top of it. If not, you can certainly grab a blanket or a towel. Just make sure you feel safe there. You can always come onto the towel once we lower down to our knees. Take care of your joints. Too much to come down? Take a seat in the chair or stay standing the entire practice. So really just do what you can. I do have a special guest here with me, little Lila, and I'll do a close up with her at the end so you can see her today and how much she's already changing. In our mountain pose, let's begin by rolling our shoulders just a few times, going one way, and then circling the other way, loosening up. Very nice. And now just join me with a sigh, breathing into the nose first, stretch up, and let it out of the mouth. Ha! <sighs> That's it. Beautiful. Take another deep breath in. Just reach all the way up. And again, another sigh. Ha! <sighs> and this time, bring your hands behind your back. Yoga mudra clasp. Interlace your fingers. This is a hand position of balance. Roll the shoulders back and feel the chest open up. Maybe look forward, pressing your pelvis forward a little more. Create a back bend, very gentle, of course, to begin. Maybe look up. Walking the eyes back on the ceiling, feel the throat open up. This is very energizing. Take a deep breath in and out. Looking forward, release the hands. Just shake out the wrist a few times. And now breathing in through your nose. Just reach all the way up. As you exhale, bring your hands to your thighs. A little bend in the knees. Press the chest forward. Look forward. Breathing in for standing cow. As you exhale for standing cat, draw the chin to the chest. Now moving a few times with your breath. Inhaling cow. And exhaling cat. Inhaling cow, and exhaling cat. Just two more rounds with your breath. Slow, deep, remember everything is meant to happen at the right time. So just taking it as slowly as you need, finding neutral, lift right back up, inhale, big stretch. And again, a big sigh. Ah, always feels good to let it out, doesn't it? Bring your hands to your hips. Keep pressing through your right foot now, and we're going to take a big step back. Step back with the left foot. Right toes pointing forward, hips and chest pointing forward. Breathing in, and as you exhale, take a bend in the knee. The knee is always over the ankle, stacking the joints to keep us safe. Let's go again, inhale, straighten. If you're wobbly like me, go ahead and get wider. And exhale, bend. Try that just two more rounds. And exhale. One more time. And in this standing warrior pose, squeeze your belly muscles tight. Engage the abs. This is our powerhouse, our place of strength. Open the arms, reach it up. Perfect, breathing in, in this strengthening pose. Look up, relax the shoulders. Exhale, float the hands back to your hips. Now be careful for this next one. Lower the back knee down, we're in a low lunge or kneeling warrior. If you need to grab a pillow or something to put under the knee, go for it. And again, if being on the knee is too much, just stay standing in that warrior. From here, we're going to open our arms. Hit the table there, gotta get used to where furniture's placed. As you exhale, we're going to take our left hand to the right knee. Right arm reaches out to the right. See if you can take a full bind by bringing the hand slowly behind the back and wrapping it around the back towards that opposite hip, that left hip. Looking to the right. In this twist, we rinse out, we wring out the jump. Maybe looking behind you, just take a full breath in and out. Sliding back to the center, open the arms. Reach all the way up, inhale. Exhale, 
Exhale, lower your hands and step it back to table pose. Now, you can choose to come into child's pose, dragging the hips towards the heels, forehead to the floor. But if downward dog is within your ability, give that a try. Tuck the toes, lift the knees and hips. Try pedaling the feet in that downward dog. If you happen to be in child's pose, maybe just moving a little side to side. In downward dog, nod the head yes, and no, loosen the neck, loosen the throat, and now we'll all look forward. As slowly as you need, walk the feet towards the hands. Beautiful, bring the hands to the hips, bend the knees, and rise all the way to standing. Back to mountain, breathing in, sighing out. <sighs> We did it. Can you stand a little taller? And of course, one side might feel a little longer than the other. Don't worry, we're gonna even things out. Bring your hands now to your hips. Moving to the other side, that left foot remains forward. Take a step back with the right foot. Toes angled out, hips shining forward like headlights on a car. Breathe in and now exhale. Bend into your left knee. Gazing forward, smiling. We're happy. We're feeling good. Two more. Breathe it in. And out. One more time. Inhale through the nose as you exhale. Hold this position. Squeeze the belly tight. Pull it in. This will protect and strengthen your lower back. And over time, sweep those arms up. Gazing forward, maybe up. Feel that chest lifting more, the heart opening, breathing in. Exhale, float the hands back down by your hips. Holding the hips, remember, carefully transitioning into this kneeling lunge. Lower the knee down, and now stay right here. Protect your back knee, grab those props. If you're feeling wobbly, go wider, reach the arms up. Breathing in as you exhale, taking now the opposite hand to opposite knee, right hand to left knee. Left arm reaches to the left and begin to twist, reaching the arm behind you. And now bringing left hand towards right hip. Looking to the left, remember you're in control of all of these poses. You can stay very light in the twist, still cleansing, breathing deeply, or maybe Start to look behind you. Take a deep breath in and out. Return to kneeling warrior. Open the arms, take a stretch, inhale, and exhale, float the hands down, step it back to that table pose. Again, now choosing downward dog, if it's an option, if not, right back in the child's pose. Lifting up. Moving around in any way that feels good. In your downward dog, maybe lift your right leg up. You can circle the ankle around. And then lower it down if you're going there. Switch to the other side. Lift the opposite leg, circling it out. Clearing the line, clearing the cobwebs. Clearing out the stress and negativity. In this upside down pose, we're all going to look forward, walk the feet. Slowly to the hands again, as slowly as you need. Hands to the hips, bend your knees, and rise all the way up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Big sigh. Ha! Let it go. Very nice. In this standing pose, you may choose to step off of your yoga mat, moving into a balance. Hands at the hips or by your sides, or of course, holding on to something if needed. Press down through the right foot and begin to lift your left heel. Squeeze the belly muscles. Remember, we're engaging the core always. Open the arms, and now try lifting the foot. Stork pose, not happening, keep the toes down. Breathing in, and breathing out. Stay right here, option one, with toes lifted or lowered. Second option is to open the hip, using that left hand to guide the hip open. 
Deep stretch, it should feel good. Toes can be on the mat for this one as well. Breathing in, squeeze the belly, lengthen the spine, and out. One more time. And then slowly return to the center, lift up, and let it go. Very nice, shake it off. Shake it all off. From here, let's open our arms, reach up to the sky, and now as you exhale, bring the arms forward, bend the knees, and take chair pose. Chair pose, let's try that a few times. Just inhale, reach all the way up. Squeeze the belly, press the hips back, reach the arms forward, chair. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, bend. We're gonna take a few more rounds. Now, if you need to rest, you rest. If you can keep going, keep going. We're halfway there. Inhale, lift, and exhale. We've got three, inhale. Now, can you go deeper? Make sure you can see your toes. Two, inhale up, and exhale. Keep pressing those hips back one last time. Breathe it in, and out. Inhale, lift up, exhale, sigh. Ha. Breathe, shake it out, move. Do a little dance, let it go. Recenter, reground through both feet. Hear your breath as you breathe through the nose. Focus on a spot in front of you, that spot to help you find stillness within. You are present here and now. Pressing down through the left foot, right heel lifts. Open the arms or hold on to something. Stay right here, this is perfect, or engage the core, lift the knee. Flex the toes, whoop. Keep smiling, just doing the best you can. Stay right here, or open the hip, using that right hand now to guide the hip open, remember, Toes down is great. Breathing in and out. Taking one more breath and then return to the center. Lift the knee up and let it go. Great job. Shake it off. Finding that pause. Observing the changes that are already beginning to happen now. Great work, everyone. Bring the hands back behind your back for a moment. Return to Yoga Mudra. We are such creatures of habit. We usually bring the same pinky on top, the same thumb on top. Can you switch it up? Bring the other pinky on top, the other thumb on top. Now, lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulders back. Again, feel the shoulder blades squeeze together, breathing in. And this time as you exhale, just release the hands over towards the left hip. Gaze to the right. Feel the stretch for the wrists, the shoulders, and the neck. Take a deep breath in and out. Return to the center, breathing in as you look forward. With your exhale, switch sides. So simply guide the hands over to the opposite side. Looking to the left. Gazing to the left or behind you. Feel that stretch, feel that twist. Breathe it in and out. Come back through the center now. Breathing in one more time. Look up. Exhale, release the hands. Shake it off. Roll out the wrist, circle it out, going both ways. You guys are so awesome. Just inhale now, reach those arms up. As we exhale, find a forward fold, a stretch. Just hang forward. We call this ragdoll. Soften the knees. Just checking to see where we are on time. Perfect. From here, Maybe bending the knees a little more, maybe going wider with the feet. Lift and lower the toes. Breathing in and again, take that side, let it out. 
Ha. Lower the hands to the ground. Walk the feet back one at a time and try out that downward dog. Now guys, if downward dog on the mat's not happening, maybe this time try downward dog using the wall. Hands up against the wall, wrists in front of the shoulders, walk the feet back and press the hips back. Bending and straightening the legs, pedaling the feet, whether you're on the mat or using the wall. Make sure those arms are straight, the fingers are spread wide to support those wrists. And then again, try lifting your right leg, stretch it back, point through the toes, maybe bend the knee, open the hip, feel out that scorpion stretch. And then try that same thing on the other side, lift the left leg, and then just press the hips back or up, feet are down, breathing in, exhale, lower your knees to the ground, everyone. Knees to the ground. Open the knees wide. Connect your big toes. Press the hips towards your heels and rest in child's pose. In child's pose, our forehead connects to the floor. If not, use books, use a pillow, use a blanket. The hips press back towards your heels. It's okay if they don't touch. Start to walk or stretch your fingertips forward a little more if you can. And take this pose, this opportunity to release, to truly rid yourself of any remaining stuff that's still holding on, that still feels stuck or stagnant. Those things that aren't serving you in a positive way, choose to release them. Breathing in, open your mouth again and let it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift your arms or lift your hips up, excuse me. Coming back to hands and knees and as you exhale, simply take a seat on your mat, stretching the legs out in front of you. From here, shake out the legs. Bend into your knees. Plant the feet on the ground and really lengthen through the spine. Perfect. Slide the hands onto the backs of the thighs, holding there, shoulders drop down. Begin to lean back, squeezing those abdominals tight. Lift the right leg up, point through the toes, and then exhale, lower it down. We'll try that same lift on the left side. And then exhale. Try that again. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. To the left. And exhale. Breathing in. And breathing out one more time. Inhale, up. And exhale down. Let's try it, guys. Lean back a little more. Squeeze the belly. Both feet lift together. Full boat. Navasana, we call it. Arm stretch forward, maybe. Too much. Lower one foot down and alternate. Breathe for five. Breathe for four. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Stretch those legs. Breathe for three. Four, two. And one. Lower your feet down. Lift up, round over the legs. Great work, breathing in and out. Lifting up slowly, open your legs wide, open those hips another time. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, your hips or lower back are tight, you can roll up the mat or sit on the edge of a pillow or blanket and that can help this feel a lot more comfortable for you. You can also bend the knees and just flex into the feet. Sit up as straight as you can. Very important to sit up tall. Now from here, just reach the arms all the way up. Take a big stretch. And now exhale, float the hands down. This time we'll take our right hand to our hip, lift our left arm up, and just stretch over to the right. 
Looking down, forward or up. You choose, keep flexing those feet. Breathe it in. And out. Inhale, lift up as you exhale, switching sides. Left hand takes it, keep flexing the feet. Lifting the right arm up. And stretch. Looking down, forward or up. Shoulders down on your back, take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, both arms reach up, up, up. And one final side, let it go. <sighs> Nicely done, slide the feet together, shake it off. And now from here, scoot forward on your mat. We're going to make our way down, but we're going to use our core to help us. You know, we gotta always work to strengthen our core. Keep that lower back strong too. Reach your arms up, flexing the feet as you exhale, bring the arms forward. We're going to go back, back, breathing in, and exhale forward. Inhale, try that again. Back, maybe a little further, and exhale. Let's do it, guys. Inhale back, and exhale. Four, four, inhale back, and exhale. Four, three, inhale back, and exhale. Four, two, inhale. Can we go back a little bit further? Stretch it forward, exhale for this final round. Come back as low as you can, hold that pose, hold that pose, and let it go. Lie back, stretch the arms back behind you, point through your toes, full, body stretch, breathing in and out. Hug the left knee in towards the chest and now wrap the hands below the knee or thigh. Just feel this stretch, this really nice release for the lower back, for the hips. Relax the shoulders, the head and neck. And then slowly let it go. Again, full body stretch, breathe it in. Exhale, switch sides, bring the other knee to chest. Choosing your hand placement, pulling the knee in, toes and fingers relaxed. Breathing in. And out. This time, hug both knees together to your chest. Rock side to side. Oh, that feels so good. One of my favorite things to do, option one, to stay right here with knees together. Or one final hip opener, option two, happy baby. Open the knees wide, flex the feet as if you were walking on the ceiling. Reach for your toes or your ankles. If you can't reach one of those, grab your shins, grab your thighs, and rock. Massage the tailbone as it presses down into the ground. Feel that massage for the hips. Breathing in and out. Smiling because we are so blessed. We are so happy. Full of health, vitality, and strength. Steady, strong, yet yeah, peaceful and calm. Bring the knees back together if they're apart and give yourself a squeeze. And now we'll finish by lowering the feet down, opening the feet wide, but knocking the knees together. Knees together, feet apart. Let the palms turn to face upward, the shoulders roll under you, and the chest. The heart opens. Close your eyes and just feel yourself melt into the floor under you. Someone's awake, breathing in and out. If this pose isn't comfortable for you, you can certainly extend the leg. Relax, 
take this time just for you. Hear that soft, comforting sound of each inhale and exhale. Remember with every breath in, we take in what we need and with every breath out, we release what we don't. Stay here as long as you need. When you're ready, just taking that big breath in. Joining in with a final sigh. Open the mouth and let it all go. <sighs> Wiggle your fingers and toes. Rotate your ankles and wrists. Turn your head side to side as if to say no. No to stress today. And then reach your arms again back by your ears. Full body lengthening. Stretch it all out. When you're ready, hug the knees to the chest. Ooh, very nice. Maybe rocking side to side. Choosing to turn onto your side or rocking and rolling yourself up to seated. Here's Lila. We'll finish now in this comfortable seat. Open the arms, reach both arms up. As you exhale, bring the hands in front of your heart in that prayer pose with the eyes closed softly, setting your intention for this wonderful day ahead. Smiling, feeling so grateful for the gift of today, the gift of now. Thank you all so much for taking the time for yourself, for your mind, body, and spirit. We hope that this practice helps you to feel good and strong and open in everything you do. We'll see you tomorrow. Great job, guys. Namaste. Say namaste.